You know what I've discovered? People hate change. And I think the reason they hate change is because they're seeking contentment. And if things are uh, disheveled and, and out of order, they, they don't feel content. But the secret of contentment in the midst of change is found in having roots in the changeless Christ. The same yesterday, today, and forever. When you plant strong roots in God, then there can be storms and there can be winds blowing and still you feel contentment. You feel a sense of security, uh, uh, something that is feeding you, roots up into your soul. In Philippians 4, verse 11, it says, I have learned to be content in whatever circumstances I am. This is the key to true contentment, true spirituality. To know, because you're planted in God, that nothing can dismay you. That you have something working within you that is greater than that that is in the world. Where can you find contentment? Well, is it a result of wealth or power, beauty or fame? No. Genuine contentment springs from a peaceful spirit, a clear conscience, and a loving heart. And this Christmas time, you can experience this. It does not take a lifetime. It takes a dedicated moment in prayer to change the vast amounts of time after that prayer where you again plant yourself, you down strong roots in God. The world seems preoccupied many times with the search for contentment. We're bombarded with messages, especially at Christmas time, that tell us that we'll have real contentment when we buy this automobile or this item or this diamond ring. But those messages don't bring contentment. They bring a, a sense of uh, debt. Contentment is not the result of what we own or what we buy. It is a result of our disposition at any given moment. And you and you alone are the only one that can give you this kind of contentment. And you give it to yourself through planting your roots in God. The search for contentment is an internal quest, an uh, inside spiritual search, an exploration of the heart, the mind, and the soul in relation with your Creator. You can find contentment. Indeed, I say you will find it, and I'm an optimist, I pray that you find it this Christmas. And you will, my friend, no matter where you are, if you simply look in the right place when you trust God's promises and place your life in God's hands, well then, you're going to find at last real and lasting contentment. Merry Christmas.